Hey guys, what's going on? Good Pie Tutorials here, and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be covering some optimal settings for the Sony Vegas Pro 12. Um, this will allow for a really, really good compression and some really high quality. Now, I have a video here that we'll just be using um, just to, you know, do everything. We'll just go ahead and delete this first. And what we want to do is we want to drag this in. And you should get a pop-up box here saying uh, base C project on uh, base C settings on project or well, the first video or something. I've automatically enabled that, but you should just press yes. That's something you should always do. Um, and what you want to do is we want to render this. So once you've edited it and stuff like that, go to file, render as, and what we want to select is the main concept AVC slash AAC. In the brackets, it should be MP4 or AVC. So just go ahead and select that. Uh, you want to select the internet HD, whichever quality you have. I have a 180p thing here, so I'm just going to select 180p. So customize template, click that button down there, and you got the frame size, which you should have selected there. You can change it if you want to. You want the profile to be main. Um, I have tried high, but that for some reason keeps freezing halfway through rendering. Um, we want the field order to be none, progressive scan, the pixel aspect ratio to be one, the number of reference frames to be two, uh, the variable bit rate to be 24 million and 12 million, and the encode mode, depending on whether or not you have a decent um, GPU, you want it to be CUDA or OpenCL. This will allow for a lot faster rendering, so I'm going to select CUDA because I have an NVIDIA card. Uh, you want to go to audio. We want the bitrate for the audio to be 384,000. The sample rate to be standard 48,000. System uh, format should be MP4. The project, we just want to use the project settings. So press OK. Uh, uh, wait, head back to customize template. We want to save that as YouTube. Has to go ahead and press save. Okay. Now we could render now, but I'm just going to run through some other settings. Now these settings are mainly if your rendering stops halfway through. So if it just like pauses at a certain percentage, say 50% or something. So what you want to do is you want to go to video. The dynamic RAM preview max should be zero. Now that means it has unlimited RAM. Uh, the number of rendering threads, we want to set that to 1. It may sound stupid because um, obviously the more threads you have, the more CPU power it, it uses. But um, we, it just seems to work. I don't understand why it just does. So just go ahead and press OK. And we are done. So you can go ahead and press Render As. Select the template, so it should be the main concept. And we're going to main YouTube. That's the one I created before. And just click render. I'm not going to render this video in this video because uh, it's just stupid. So if you ha um, yeah, so that's it. If this helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more con uh, tutorials in the future, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.